got to be Real Movie Reviews with Tommy. That's me. And Jules. And right now, we're reviewing Moonfall. This was an edge of your seat. PG-13. Who stars in this? Okay. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. I love me some Halle Berry. Always have. Yeah, me too. Uh, she's Jocinda Joe Fowler. Mm -hmm. uh, Patrick Wilson. He plays Brian Harper. Mm -hmm. John Bradley as Casey Hausman. He's also in Marry Me, which we just reviewed. Yep. You'll see that either before this or after this. I don't know. <laughs> and he's in Game of Thrones. You'll remember him from that. Uh, Charlie Plummer as Sonny Harper. He plays uh, mm -hmm. Patrick Wilson's son. Michael Pena in this one. I mean, he's not as funny as he normally right, is, but he's but still he's, got a couple parts in it. He's a great actor either way. I still love him. And I was happy to see him in something that was a little bit more of a drama, but yeah. he still had a couple moments where he made you laugh in there, yeah. but he was, he was good in there. Yeah. This yeah. is a different role for mm -hmm. him. Uh, Carolina Bartzak is Brenda Lopez. What's going on? It sounds like another one of our regurgitated end of the world movies. What is it about? It's another regurgitated end of the world movie, kind of, oh, kind of. It? There's some twist in here. Okay, so a mysterious force knocks the moon from its orbit around the Earth and sends it hurtling on a collision course with life as we know it. Okay, that sounds like stuff we've seen before, but... That we just watched like last month and a month before that. Yes, but there is much more in here. There is a twist in here that got me that I didn't see coming, got which it. makes it a little bit better than the normal end of the world yeah movies and listen i kid you not it was barely two and a half minutes into the movie and the action was like pow yeah and it never stopped yep. i'm in look the seats are reclined of course i'm like what? the whole movie i was in non-reclined <laughs> seats and at one point i'm like scooting up like, yeah, like, <laughs> like the whole movie your metabolic heart rate is just oh my gosh good it was good it was i loved good. um Halle Berry and Patrick Wilson's uh, chemistry. chemistry. Mm -hmm. At first, I almost thought they maybe were like either husband and wife or divorced. But that he said, it was, that's my work wife. Now yeah. that makes sense because yeah. that's exactly the relationship they had. I didn't expect to enjoy this as much as I did. And it's because they put that twist in there. And now it'll, this movie is going to start making you think. First of all, this is NASA. You know, you always got the one they don't want to believe the you know, this random guy who just likes to be on the blogs and talking about it, who, you know, they don't want to believe people. They think you're, you're low level. We know what we're doing here. We've got the military and we've yeah. got the best. Not really though. So you've got these people in here, some of them who it's almost like they serve their purpose to help. When this twist came in and I, I like that, like I don't like anybody to necessarily just sacrifice themselves, but when they feel that that is my purpose, it's a little bit more hard. Let's though. not give anything away. No, no I'm though. just saying it. This it just nobody just. Oh, I'm just going to throw myself in here to save my kid. There's so much more to this movie, and I really, really liked it. I wasn't mad at the people who did die. I wasn't mad at the ones who survived because of the twist. I was already just. I was. I was sold into the movie in the first three minutes. I really liked it. I liked the twist, which we're not going to tell people because I didn't expect it. I just figured we're going to see a meteor coming and everybody's running on the airplanes and driving to where it doesn't matter because the whole earth is going to be destroyed. And that was one of the things you said before. Why is everybody driving? If yeah. the world is going, you don't matter where you go. But you're going to yeah. see. What, I thoroughly enjoyed this. And like, I remember. What bunker is going to save you if the whole earth is exactly. destroyed? Exactly. But again, there's a twist in here. So you're going to see what I, I really like this movie. I got to tell you. And I know you kind of get a don't look up feel because they were astronomers. Kind of like that too. But again, it's just that we... Oh God, Girl, I was watching this you. movie. This movie's about two hours and ten minutes long. Mm -hmm. Okay, I felt like... It, it, it almost felt longer, but not like in a bad way. No, not at all. Because I felt like I was watching like three, four, five different movies. Okay, I felt like it mm -hmm. was like a mixture of don't look up with some Armageddon. With some Independence Day. Independence Day for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> for sure I got that Independence and, Day film. Yeah. And uh, Greenland. All yes. in one. Yeah. I think that is a perfect description. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect. It was a full, you know, you, you put it all it's in It's like one. they saw those movies and they said, let's just. Let's, let's, let's take it up a notch. Yeah. We're going to throw something else in there. Yeah. And I'm telling you the whole, oh, you're not even three minutes in. It pops and yep. it doesn't stop. Yeah, I know this movie had to be uh, people probably got in crazy shape with this movie. There was so much going on 
in here and go see it. Yeah. Uh, go see it at go see it at the theater. I don't yeah. understand why you know sometimes it's it's not getting as good of reviews as we feel it mm-hmm. deserves. But you know if you like what we like, then you'll like this movie. You'll I'm enjoy it. You. It yeah. was very fun to watch, but it's an edge of your seat thriller like. They're yeah. like, oh, they're not. Okay, even that- though it's the end of the world one, and we've seen that, mm-hmm. and we've talked about how that's been regurgitated, I felt like this one still had a, a little bit of a freshness to it. Yes, it did. Yeah, and that's that twist that we're talking about. I felt that freshness. Yeah. I would absolutely watch this when it does come on TV. Yeah, again, me too. Me too. It's just because now I can go back and see all the little nuances that I may have missed because I was just like this the whole time. I was scared. <laughs> like, oh my God, the kid. Oh no, it's not gonna. Ha- Oh my, there's no way they're going to make that. Like, it's one of those kind of movies. It was but again, you have to suspend your disbelief because as I'm looking up. Oh, here notes, you go. Here she goes. And, <laughs> and I didn't think about this at the time. Yeah. And I hope I don't ruin something for somebody, whatever. But during the, the whole process of the earth and the, and the moon, the moon coming into the earth, a bunch of satellites get destroyed. So if the satellites are destroyed, you can't use a satellite phone. Because that's where the bounce is off of. Yeah, but I'm not an astronomer just, or a physicist. Don't think so about that. that. I and, I, and I hope I didn't ruin that for anybody because I didn't think about it during the movie. You but. did that in, uh, was it Greenland where you said that? How did they get a phone in there at the bottom of the ocean? I don't look at that. She gets deep with it. Not with this yeah, kind that, of movie. That, Godzilla one or whatever. Yeah. They go under the, hey, you know, I, sometimes I don't even get a freaking signal in my home and they're, inside the middle of the earth or whatever and all of a sudden he's like Purk! and citizens but they're not on the same towers we are for our basic cell phones apparently yeah but anyway. i need that tower why don't why don't we have that tower then because if you can go to the center of the earth we're not that important that is for the that's government that's a lie that is for the government is you know i let it go though i let it go for the sake hey, of i mean I, I i like science you know and all that stuff and I would mind, you know, going to Area 51 when the big group was going to ch- charge it. You know, I mean, I know you can't go to Area 51, but I like that kind of stuff. That's what I'm saying. Just, just, this is just enjoyable. Don't. It's, try, it's actually a good Because there's like so many scientific notes. Like you couldn't do, the, you know, the geeks always come out. The I'm geeks, not, I'm no. Not a geek yeah, because they're scientists, because the trajectory, mathematicians. Because even no. when Greenland came out, they're like, in actuality, when the waves know and that. were coming up and they were supposed yeah. to be in Iceland, it wouldn't have looked like, come on. I don't, just, I, but it's see, just a movie. It's just a movie. I, I watch movies to leave reality. Yes. I mean, not that I love my reality, but I watch movies to immerse myself in there. That is yes. my solace. Yes. I don't need to know that the physicist was one number off. I don't even know what you're talking about. Right. Because we're not astronomers. I don't know, but I, we get the gist of it. Yeah. And it's good. Yeah. And it's good to see the genius being somebody who's not necessarily an employee at NASA yeah. or how they blow people off when they shouldn't. Yep. You know what I mean? The, the solution isn't always get the bombs ready. Yeah. Sometimes you need to listen to these scientists. Hello? Yeah. Didn't we just learn that the past few years? Listen to the scientists. But okay. So you're talking about seeing it again. So you see things yes. that you missed. Uh-huh. So in the scene where Casey is presenting information to a small group of people at uh-huh. the hotel, the wallpaper pattern in the hotel matches the iconic wallpaper in The Shining. Ha! All right. I'm this seems to be a nod to that. the rumor that the moon landing was fake and directed <laughs> by Stanley Kubrick, <laughs> director of The Shining. <laughs> they did mention that in there, though. There's some stuff they mentioned in there where you're like, yeah, you think this is what happened when we landed on the moon? <laughs> Let me tell you the real deal. Yeah. And the uh, fact that they're, the wallpaper is The Shining, I didn't even see that. But now I'm I didn't extra see excited. it either, but yeah. This is yeah. a fantastic date movie. Yeah. Fantastic. Yep. Uh, Josh Gad was originally cast as Casey Houseman, but mm-hmm. dropped out of the film due to scheduling conflicts. I could see that. It I has to Josh Gad doing that. You have to pick which one you want to go with, the one yeah. you think might be the best in. I mean, it happens. Things get moved around a lot. I'm saying I could see him in this role, though. Oh, too. doing this um, as Kate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was good. The, the guy that came and told him, look. Mm-hmm. The this, normal yeah. citizen, the civilian who said, listen. There, dude, get out of here. Get before you arrest you. No, I'm trying to tell y'all you're going to die. And then, oh, you're, you're going to see. I'm giving this a three and a half because I like the little twist that they put in there. I like the little bit of freshness that they had. The casting was fantastic. They all had chemistry. I'm giving it a strong three and a half, and I highly recommend go see it. 
when I first got out of the movie, I was thinking strong four. I was, I, I was almost there too. I was like, me too. Yeah, I was on a high. Like, yeah, yeah this movie was bomb. All that, and, you know, edge of the seat mm -hmm. stuff. But I'm gonna go with you and give it three and a half as well. I was almost like the four. I'm, now that I'm calm and yeah. I think about it, I'm like, okay, it would not deserve I, it. I, I'm kind of torn but between yeah. three and a half and four, but I'm gonna like, go with a solid three and a half. Yeah, I, I like it. Go see the movie. Go see Edge it. Edge of your seat. And you should see it in a theater, too. Oh, yeah. You like, needed the book. You need to I will see it boom. again on TV, but... Oh, IMAX. For... Oh, yes. Why do I keep the, the huge scenes. Beautiful. Yeah. And the and the moon <sighs> coming down close to the earth. The, that. the attention to detail. Yes. That is the one thing I did not want to forget. Yep. The attention to detail yep. is magnificent. Yep. That comes from directing. Yep. Direct, woo, directed the F out of this film. I mean, yep. just the visuals. And, uh, you know, and I look for little stuff sometimes. I'm like, they didn't miss a freaking beat. You got to see it in the theater. Beautifully made. Great directing. Mm -hmm. Go see this movie. And full price. I think you'd be fine paying full price too. I, I was totally okay with paying full price for it. It didn't, didn't phase me. Great. Like I said. I mean, no, you saw it. You paid well, I've seen the matinee, but yeah. usually I have a student ID anyway, so I'm never going to pay more than nine bucks. But even if so, I, I would, in fact, I wish I would have seen it in IMAX. Had I realized how good it was, I would have seen it in IMAX. Yeah. Imagine if that would have been in 3D. You can always go back. What if that was in 3D? <laughs> that would be fantastic. It would be. Anyways, great directing. Good movie. Go see it. So we want to thank you very much for tuning in to our review of Moonfall. Don't forget, we're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on Instagram. We take requests. Tell us what you want to see. It doesn't yes. matter what genre it is. We'll pull it up. Watch it. Shout you out on the show. All right. Um, yeah. Also, do you want to contribute to our movie and watching ventures? You know, give a girl a little something, something when you fall. Absolutely. We're got to be real on Cash App. Somewhere yep. right around in here, Miss Jules is going to put it. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>